subscribe to YouTube, digital. My plan works! A little bit of smoke. I uh, painted the motor real fast last night. So I let it dry from last night till now. Eh, I didn't do too bad of a job. The problem with these is it doesn't matter because as soon as you go riding, they get fucked up. Even unless you powder coat them. It's the only way to keep it. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, anywho. So, I'm going to go ahead and, hey, turn this key over here. Yeah, or backwards, whatever way. I'm going to let it cool down right now. I had to sand this area because that's the um, serial number. Yeah. What you... No, turn it the other way. Turn it this way. Turn it the other way. Okay, don't, 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 don't overturn it. It only, push it forward. Turn it forward. It only goes one. Yeah, it only goes one click. There, it's on. Now turn it the other way. It's off. That's where I want it. Okay. You turn it more, and you're gonna strip it out. Oh. Carburetor's jetted right. I mean, I can. Uh, I don't know how long this paint's gonna last. It says it was. Um, engine paint but it's it seems like it has too much enamel in it so i'll say i don't care whoever buys it if they want to repaint it again it only takes a couple seconds to fucking paint it uh, <laughs> make it higher but uh, i'm going to tape off the serial number real nicely and i'm going to I sanded this down. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is. Um, and I sanded a couple of these bars down. I'm going to touch up those. And um, then I'm going to call it done. Got some uh, Duplicolor um, grease wax stuff right now. I'm going to go in there and, and get all done up. But after that's done, I'll start it up again. Hopefully this stuff... It just seems like it has a lot of enamel in it. It's kind of, you know, like not enamel, like a uh, latexy. Seems like it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll find out. Is it leaving my fingerprints? No. So that's a good sign right there, because pushing on there, and it's not leaving my fingerprints in it, so I think it just still needs to harden more. But I wish I had regular tape, but I can't find any painter's tape. I gotta go look through again. But uh, that's an update. This you guys haven't even seen. I got that new axle nut back there. Um, that's awesome. Polished out the tires real quick. Yeah, I gotta put. Well, I gotta paint it first. No. Yeah, pick that up, please. We got the uh, new handlebars, new grips, new cover. I was going to get that one, but I, I screwed up. I got the wrong one. This is awesome. This is a handlebar clamp, and you can put a computer right here. It's a, so, got all this all tied in. Got the lights all on. They all work. So, um, 
yeah. So, all in all, done. I did screw up on the seat a little bit. I gotta take the staples out of right here and then let loose the fabric because I pulled it too tight. The seat should be like that, but I pulled the fabric down too tight. I ain't gonna deal with that. Let, let someone else deal with that. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty much done. I just gotta put the skid plate back on after I paint it. So, I'm gonna get on that real quick and uh, look for some tape. I'm hoping to find some painter's tape that I'd rather not use electrical tape. I can because it's not that much different from uh, the line tape that they use. The blue shift for making lines and paint. It's not much different. Some. Not much. So any usual. Yeah. Alright. Peace.